Are you looking for a day or even a whole weekend filled with laughter? Then you need to take a short trip to Jamestown, New York, home of the National Comedy Center. Here to tell us more is Kate. Kate, tell us what makes this such a unique experience. Well, thank you so much for having us. The National Comedy Center in Jamestown, New York, as you mentioned, is a quick trip, just two hours. It's a great day trip. It's a great weekend trip. And it really is unlike anything that you've experienced in a museum before. It's the most interactive, immersive experience, and it celebrates the art form of comedy, the legends of comedy, and it's a great time for your whole family to just literally spend the day laughing. And it's an adventure as you go through. You're not just looking at artifacts or archives, which we do have things like George Carlin's archives. You could see Johnny Carson's Rolodex, but then you're going to be immersed in a true story of their lives, their comedy. Well, this doesn't sound like your traditional museum. So tell us more about some of those interactive and immersive exhibits. Well, one of the first things that you do when you come in is you get what we call a laugh band and you create your own humor profile. So you're asked, what do you think is funny? Whether it's stand-up comedy, TV, movies, books, podcasts, all of it is represented there, even memes. What do you think is funny? So then once you're going through the museum, you can tap into certain exhibits and they come to life and they're coming to life with things that you're going to find fun and funny. And the cool thing is, is if all of us are there together, we tap in, tap in, tap in, it'll say, okay, what is the common denominator with this whole group of people? So it really is tailored to your sense of humor, which when you think about it is great because Everybody is different. Everybody thinks different things are funny. The genre of comedy is quite multifaceted. So is this experience kid-friendly too? It absolutely is. And it's so fun to watch older people and younger people all coming together and enjoying comedy together. You'll sometimes see younger people with maybe their grandparents. And the grandparents remember Johnny Carson. And the grandkids might be like, you know, I don't really know this guy, but he's kind of funny. You know, so it's it's fun to see that experience of, of all of these people together laughing and giggling because it, it is universal. And again, that laugh band ties it all together for people. So it sounds like this is an exhibit, not just for the kids, but also the kids at heart. Yes. So tell us about some of the experiences for the adults. Well, one of the things that is strictly for adults is our blue room, which is on our lower level. It's for 18 and up. And I like to joke that it's where we keep the swear words. Um, So it's a little spicy, but the thing that's really cool about that is you walk in and you realize that there's these people who really push boundaries in comedy. And when you look at that throughout history, it's more than just the dirty joke kind of thing. But it's this idea of free speech and the idea that a lot of these comedians opened the door to conversations that maybe we weren't having. But when you make it something that's fun and funny and everybody can kind of laugh at it, it's, it's sort of universal and you really see the impact of that. So it has this you know, serious side, as I like to say, it's a reverence for irreverence, um, but that's strictly for adults and it's down on the, the lower floor. Why is the National Comedy Center in Jamestown, New York? Well, there's a very special reason why that is. Jamestown, New York was the hometown of Lucille Ball, which you're Lucy inspired today. I love that with the, with the polka dots. <laughs> um, but when the city of Jamestown wanted to do something Of course, to recognize her and honor her and celebrate her as the hometown gal, she said, look, don't make it all about me. Make it about comedy. Make it about the art form of comedy and the people that make people laugh. So the National Comedy Center in Jamestown is really Lucille Ball's vision come to life. And that just makes it so special. You can't say I love comedy without saying I heart Lucy. So tell us more about the Lucy Desi Museum. The Lucy Desi Museum is just a couple of blocks away from the National Comedy Center. And this really is the story of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. And it's fascinating to see them as a couple, uh, them as individuals, and how much they changed television. So this really takes you through their story as this first couple of comedy. It's so amazing to imagine that Desilu Studios changed so much in TV. A lot of what we see now in comedy and television started with them. We have shows like Star Trek because of Desilu Studios and because of the mind of Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. And so that is also part of the experience when you're in Jamestown. You can also get a ticket That is both experiences in one. And if you hire Lucy, there's more. There is also the Lucille Ball Comedy Festival that you just announced the lineup for. So tell us more. We did. I'm so excited because there's so many great headliners this year. We just announced Nate Bargatze is going to be headlining the final night of the festival. That's on August 3rd. Festival runs August 1st through the 4th. On August 1st, we have Nicole Byer, who people may recognize from Netflix's Nailed It. She's one of the most unique voices in comedies, just ridiculously funny. 
And then we have the Roastmaster General himself, Jeff Ross, uh, who's also coming as well. And then in addition to that, we have 20 more comedians as part of our comedy late night shows. And that's really awesome because you get to see the people who are touring in clubs right now. They're the rising stars. They're on late night TV. You know, for people who say, who do I need to be looking at? You know, who's next? This is who's next. And they're going to be in Jamestown. And then, of course, we have our Lucy events as well to celebrate. And Kate, where can we go to learn more? Just go to ComedyCenter.org. Thank you so much, Kate. Who knew that learning could be filled with so much laughter? I know that I personally want to take a full weekend to experience all there is to offer at the National Comedy Center in Javestown, New York. <laughs>